I have no idea how my statement got out. <sighs> well, that's bullshit. Have so you provided all audio and video recordings in your possession to this committee, as we asked on July 15th, yes or no? I would have to get back to you. That is that. a no. You're full of shit today. You're just being completely dishonest. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman I want to... Mr. Ch I'm Come on. We have to maintain decorum in this committee. Any questions, very specific questions. I want very specific answers. Most of my questions are going to demand a yes or no answer. Do you understand? I do. Okay. My first question. Both sides of the aisle today have asked for your resignation. Would you like to use my five minutes to draft your resignation letter? Yes or no? No, thank you. <clears throat> was this a colossal failure? It was a failure. Yes or no? Was it a colossal failure is the question. Yes or no? I have admitted this is a terrible This is a failure. yes or no series of questions. Was this a colossal failure? Yes or no? Yes. Was this tragedy preventable? Yes or no? Yes. Has the Secret Service been transparent with this committee? Yes. Would you say the fact that we had to issue a subpoena to get you to show up today as being transparent, yes or no? I have always been Yes eager to or no, you didn't want to answer the, the question. Committee. We had to issue a subpoena to get you to show up today. That is not transparent, by the way. You stated earlier, Secret Service is not political, is that correct? Yes. Okay, would you say leaking your opening statement to Punchbowl News, Politico's playbook, and Washington Post several hours before you sent it to this committee as being political, yes or no? I have no idea how my statement got out. <sighs> well, that's bullshit. So, Mr. Chairman, I would like to ask unanimous consent to enter into the record articles by Punchbowl News, Political Playbook, Washington Post, all uh, done at 5.24 a.m., 6.12 a.m., 6.34 a.m., uh, a solid three to four hours before this committee got your statement. Without objection to ordered. Okay. Is the Secret Service fully cooperating with our committee? Yes. Okay. You say you're fully cooperating with this committee. Um, on July 15th, this committee sent you a list of demands of information that we wanted. Has the Secret Service provided this committee a complete list of all law enforcement personnel that were there that day? Have you done that? Have you provided a list to the Oversight Committee? Yes I, or no? I'll have to get back to you on that. <laughs> that is a no. Have you provided all audio and video recordings in your possession to this committee, as we asked on July 15th? Yes or no? I would have to get back to you. That is a no. You're full of shit today. You're just being completely dishonest. Mr. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, I want to. Mr. Ch I'm Come on, we have to maintain decorum in this committee. Any, no matter how upset we get. Have you provided any and all memos to this committee that we've asked you on July 15th? Have you provided all memorandums within the Secret Service? I would have to get back to you on that. That is a no. You are being dishonest or lying. Like, I, I just, you're being dishonest here with this committee. These are important questions that the American people want answers to, and you're just, you're just dodging and, and talking around it in generalities. And we had to subpoena you to be here, and you won't even answer the questions. We have asked you repeatedly to answer our questions. This isn't hard. Th these are not hard questions. Um, have you provided us all communications from the Secret Service related to that day and that rally? Have you provided this committee? We've asked for this information on July 15th. Have you provided any of this information that this committee has asked of the Secret Service? Any of it? I'll have to get back to you. Have you that. even read this letter that we sent you? Did you even read this? Yes. Okay. And you have uh, said you don't know, you have no idea. Well, the answer is no. We haven't gotten a single document or piece of information or data from you or your agency in related to the rally that we have asked you for. <clears throat> so um, is this, was uh, this uh, attempted assassination of Donald Trump a failure of training or execution or both? I think that those are answers that we need to <laughs> Training, ex execution, or both? Which one? I think those are answers. All right, how many, uh, how many Secret Service personnel have lost their jobs due to this colossal failure? At this time, none. <clears throat> how many Secret Service personnel have been required to take a refresher course on how not to let people shoot Donald Trump? Our personnel are currently operational. 
We are examining the facts of this investigation, and we will make the changes necessary. What time did law enforcement become aware that there was an individual on the roof with a clear line of sight to President Trump? I am still verifying timelines. <sighs> of course. Uh, nine days in, you have no answers. How many minutes went by between the time law enforcement saw and took photos of crooks and the shooting? How many minutes? I am still verifying timelines. 57 timeline. minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I yield back. Gentlelady yields back. Before I recognize Ms. Stansberry, I, I believe I want to recognize Mr. Taylor Green from Georgia. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Ms. Cheadle, I'd like to remind you that you're under oath. The site team has a senior supervisor, an advanced team, a protective intelligence team, a counter sniper element, and detail. Who was the agent in charge? How long has she been the agent in charge? And what is her Secret Service background? So I'm not going to provide a name. Of Why not? You're here to answer our questions. This forum, I'm not going to provide names. of. You stated calls. in your testimony, you said, I am here today to answer your questions. That is correct. Answer the question. I'm not going to provide names of our personnel. To Why not? Today. The American people are demanding these answers from you today, Ms. Cheadle. I will do the best to provide you accurate information based on the facts that I have at this time. You're not answering our questions. The advanced element coordinates with other intel or law enforcement partners, identifies threats and weaknesses at the sites and movements. We'd like a copy of the advanced report. Have you brought it here with you today? We will comply with the request for the documentation that has been requested. When will that be, Ms. Cheadle? Because you should have brought it today. I am certain that our personnel are working on uh, obtaining all of that document. I don't believe you, and neither do the people watching this hearing. You're not doing well, as Mr. Mok Moskowitz informed you. You've been sitting here for over three hours, and I have you know the entire country is demanding you resign and demanding that you be fired if you do not resign. Things are not going well for you. You need to answer the questions. Was there a protective intelligence team and what technical resources were utilized for that event, specifically drone or helicopter assets? There were a number of technical assets that were deployed for that event, and there was a protective intelligence team that was assigned to that event. Why was Crooks able to fly a drone over the entire area the day of the rally and the day of his assassination attempt? To my knowledge, he did not fly the drone over the entire area. How did he fly a drone over the area, period, any part of the area? Again, I would have to go back and check the timeline of when that took place and when the event... Why didn't you bring the timeline with you today to answer our questions? I don't have all of the answers on the timelines based on the criminal investigation. Were you not prepared today to answer our questions? I am prepared to answer the questions based on the information uh, and wanted to be able to provide. Do you have a timeline that you, do you have a timeline at all from, from any of the day? I have a uh, timeline that does not have specifics. That's shocking. <laughs> I, that is absolutely unacceptable. That means you are a failure at your job. Let's talk about things that are prohibited in Trump rallies. And I've been to a lot of Trump rallies. Backpacks and bags. Bicycles, firearms, uh, any type of weapon, or any other item determined to be a potential safety hazard, like a range, a range finder would be one. Uh, at 510, Crooks is first observed by one of the snipers, AGR Sniper 1, at the building. 510, 510, President, shot, President Trump was shot in the face at 611 p.m. 528, AGR Sniper 1 takes a picture of a bicycle and two bags. Those belong to Crooks. 532, AGR Sniper 1 spots Crooks looking at his phone and using a range finder. 555, Butler ESU Command confirms receipt of photos and states they have been relayed on. 6.05 p.m., AGR Sniper 1 later communicates that Crooks is seen moving northeast in direction of Sheets and that Crooks has a backpack. Two minutes before the shooting, while President Trump has been allowed to take the stage, 
people see crooks laying on his stomach in a sniper position on the roof, and they're yelling he has a gun, and they are trying to alert law enforcement and Secret Service. Why was Crooks not shot by, a snooper, by the snipers? Why was he allowed to be there? As soon as the individual was identified as a threat, they were- No, 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 no. What do you consider to be a threat? A man with a gun laying in a sniper position, a man that had a backpack, a man that had a bicycle, a man that had a range finder. At what point is he determined a threat? An individual with a backpack is not a threat. An individual with a rangefinder is not a threat. What about a man laying on a building that has direct line of sight of President Trump with a gun that people are screaming and pointing out? Is that a threat, Ms. Cheadle? Once that individual was identified, they were neutralized. No, they were neutralized. Crooks was neutralized after he shot President Trump in the face, Ms. Cheadle. Is he only a threat once he fires the weapon? As soon as the counter sniper identified that individual, they were able to neutralize them. How were people in the crowd? Okay, then let's just take it this way. People under your command did not consider him to be a threat, yet people in the crowd knew he had a gun and considered him to be a threat. That means that you are a complete failure as the director of the Secret Service, that people under your command don't perceive a man laying on a roof with direct line to the president with a gun. They don't perceive that to be a threat, yet the people in the crowd do. How is that possible? That's the last question, but please answer the question, Ms. Uh, director. I'm not certain at this time how the information from the people in the crowd was relayed to any law enforcement personnel. No, you knew that everyone knew the people there knew that there was a danger. They knew there was a threat to President Trump, and it was allowed to happen. Was there a stand-down order, Ms. Cheadle? No. Was there a conspiracy to kill President Trump? Absolutely not. Then how did this happen? And why are you still sitting here not turning in your letter of resignation? L last question, but please answer, and then I'll recognize Ms. Presley. Please answer the question. Directly. That is what we are investigating to determine. We're, we're waiting for your letter. We are waiting for your letter of resignation, and you, you really need to consider doing that before you leave today. Thank Chair, Chair now recognizes Ms. Presley from Massachusetts. Chair recognizes Ms. McLean from Michigan. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. And first of all, I want to thank the Secret Service agents, those who work tirelessly to protect our presidents, and specifically those agents who did not hesitate to jump in front of President Trump. And my heart goes out to the family um, uh, of the Comptoir family and the people at the rally who are still recovering. Um, on the other hand, the Secret Service has a leadership problem, and, uh, and it falls on you. And although I appreciate your hollow words that the buck stops here, I was actually hoping for some answers. Director Cheadle, you must answer to the American people if you want to stay in charge. It's, it's really, really simple. You want to keep your job, right? Absolutely. OK. The best way to keep your job is to answer the questions, not play this shell game, not sing the Slim Shady song, wasn't me. I, I mean, come on. How long did you prepare for this hearing? I've been preparing for this hearing over the weekend and into last week. OK, five days, six days? As soon as I was notified. And how long was that? About this hearing. OK, four days? I began preparing. Four days, three days? I'm not sure the date that I got the, re the letter asking me to be here. What are you sure of? Are you sure the color of your hair? Are you sure the color of your suit? I'm just like, tell the American people, what are you sure of? You don't even know when you started preparing for the hearing? I mean, the biggest hearing of your life, and you have no clue, you can't remember when you started preparing for this hearing? Can you understand why those words seem hollow to the American people who are supposed to entrust their faith in you? I assure you, the moment I received notification. But you can't remember. You got a little Alzheimer's, dementia going. I mean, what, you can't remember. I have several active investigations going on in an operational agency to run. Okay. 
All right, but you want to take accountability, right? The buck stops with you, right? I am taking accountability. Super, then let's start with trying to answer some questions. You keep referring to the FBI. When asked how many shell casings were on the roof, you referred to the FBI. When asked if there were explosive in the car, you referred to the FBI. When asked if Crooks was acting alone, you referred to the FBI. See a common theme here? I can go on and on. My question is, who at the FBI should I speak with? Wait for it. Wait for it. The FBI is responsible for the criminal Is there a name? I'm not certain. I'm not certain. Who at All right, here FBI we go. I'm not certain. I don't know. Let me ask a different question. Have you been in communication with the FBI? Yes, I have. With whom? I speak with the director and the deputy director. Okay. And what have they shared with you about this investigation? So I'll give you an, an, an opportunity to answer again. Did they share with you how many shell casings were on the roof? They have shared with me the evidence. Did they share with you how many shell casing were on the roof? Yes. And, okay. How many were there? I, I would refer to the FBI for how their investigation. How many were there? And their information that they need to share in their investigation. So they've shared the information with you. You just w don't want to share the information with us. Correct. We have concurrent investigations that are going on. So they have shared this information with you. You know the answer to the question. You just refer, refuse to answer the question from the member of Congress who has subpoenaed you to be here. Is there a different answer to that question? I was always willing to come here and testify before this oversight hearing. Beautiful. Then let's do a, that. Let's, let's for once have your actions match your words. So you've been in, the, in, in communication with the FBI. You know the answers, and you refuse to tell us the answers. So I will ask you again. You know how many shell casings were on that roof. What is the answer to that question? I think it's pertinent what to What is the answer to that question? question. I think it's pertinent to talk to you about the information that the Secret Service has and that the Secret Service knows related I'm to the I'm asking you an answer day. to the question. If you're supposed to be in charge, if the buck stops with you, how come you can't share the answers? What are you covering up? I'm what are you hiding, my friend? I'm not covering anything up. Then why can't you answer a simple question? I would leave it to the criminal investigation to answer questions related to that. When, when you talk to the FBI and you ask them how many explosives, well, let me ask you, did you ask them how many explosives were on the roof? Did they answer that question? Or in the car, excuse me. Did they answer that question for you? Yes. Yes. So you know the answer to that question that my colleagues have asked you. But again, you refuse to give us the answers. You're playing this wasn't me. Well, I submit to you, if you can't, and it's not a can't, it's a won't. It's not a can't. It's not a I don't know. It's a I choose not to answer the question. Well, let me tell you, Ms. Cheadle, if you're going to lead you need to lead. If you want to be in charge, then answer the question or step aside and have someone with the courage and the guts to answer to the American people the questions that they deserve answers to. And with that, I yield back. Chair, now recognize Ms. Bobert from Colorado.